sir, I want to introduce Abhishek Abhiji Ashokan, an aspirant who had successfully cleared both the UPSC preliminary and mains exam and recently completed his final interview. We wish you all the best for your results in this month. Notably, his, his brother uh, Ankit Ashokan serves as an IPS officer presently stationed in Thrissur. Without further ado, let's welcome Abhijit Ashokan to this webinar. Over to you, Abhijit. Uh, thank you, Aishwarya, for the kind introduction. Uh, I would like to extend a very good evening to all the aspirants present here and also to the hosts of today, the Wiley team, and also to Abhishek Jha sir, uh, who will be discussing us today on UPC preparation, uh, on the dis different aspect aspects of his service, and uh, and the recent book that he has uh, co-authored uh, with Mr. Nipi Shankar and Neeraj Rao, a book titled Lakshya, which is a compendium on uh, general studies uh, for civil service aspirants. Well, I would like to give a brief introduction on uh, Abhishek Jha sir. Uh, sir is currently serving as the uh, superintendent of police at Shamli district in Uttar Pradesh. Uh, he belongs to the state of uh, Bihar and uh, he did his graduation from uh, NIT Calicut, uh, where he graduated out in 2010 uh, in the uh, subject of computer science engineering. Uh, and then he could successfully, successfully clear the civil service examination twice in 2013 and 14. Uh, in 13, he uh, qualified for, for the Indian Railway Traffic Service, and in 14, he cleared for the Indian Police Service. And uh, currently, he is working as superintendent of police. Uh, sir, uh, if I have your permission, should I start with the questions, or would you like to serve, say a few words? First of all, I would like to extend my regards to the entire Wiley team for organizing this. This is, uh, it's really great to be part of this discussion. So over to you, Abhijit, you can start with the questions. Thank you, sir. Sir, uh, first of all, I would like to congratulate you on your first book, uh, Lakshya, which is a company on uh, general studies for civil service aspirants. Sir, uh, my, first question, my first question uh, would be that, uh, sir, what was your inspiration behind uh, writing a like specific book for the whole of general studies uh, for civil service and state civil service aspirants? Uh, look, uh, the three, I mean, the my co-authors, uh, we have prepared for the examination together. Uh, I was fortunate enough to clear the examination and uh, come into the service after four years. Uh, they have spent quite a lot of time in the field uh, attached with this examination and even now are engaged in the teaching field. So uh, naturally, I mean, they have a good reputation and uh, when they got an opportunity to write this book, uh, we all had an idea that we we do want to write something about the preparation, you know, the UPSA examinations. And uh, when an opportunity came, uh, we were all, you know, we were all happy about it. So it was all about dividing, you know, that uh, who wants to focus on which part. So uh, I was fortunate enough to write about, you know, the quality and economic sections. Nitish covered like, you know, geography and uh, science and tech, uh, econ uh, not economy, environment and ecology. And uh, history and art and culture were covered by Neeraj, who is an esteemed faculty at uh, uh, an esteemed institution uh, for civil services. So uh, after a lot of, uh, you know, uh, it was all about putting in your experience. Plus, uh, it was also, uh, I would say, a legacy of our friendship, something to remember us something to remember us by that we spent a lot of time for the preparation and uh, to present our experience in a way which can help the students, first of all, build a good foundation and at a good pace, which is required in this examination. And uh, hopefully to uh, not repeat the mistakes probably which we might have made during our preparation days. Uh, sir, continuing with the book, as you said, it de deals with polity, economy, environment, ecology. Like, does it deal with all the whole spectrum of the uh, general studies uh, curriculum? Or, uh, uh, like, look, uh, uh, in is a, it a holistic book? In a nutshell, I would say that, yes, it is a holistic book. Definitely, that that's what we had in mind. Uh, I'll, I'll try to go a bit uh, about, uh, I mean, you know, uh, through, I'll go through the sections. 
if i if i talk about quality quality is complete in itself it's it's it has everything you know basically jo bhi aap exam mein padhte hain in any in any other book uh, we have summarized it and uh, put it in a concise way in a way that you can understand in a in a easy language and at the same time uh, something which uh, you can say you know if you if once you have built your foundation you if uh, if you are at your peak at the peak of your preparations i would say you can revise it in say 3 hours so that i believe is a uh, is a is should be of of good help to people who are opting for this book then uh, as far as economy is concerned uh, there are books available on economy also i mean but uh, i find them personally in my opinion i find them a bit bulky uh, compared to the uh, the syllabus which is there and uh, um it's a it's a section which requires a lot of analysis आपको बहुत सारी चीजों को एक्सप्लोर करना पड़ता है यू हैव टू गेट यूज टू द टर्मिनोलॉजी फॉर एग्जांपल आई वाज नॉट फ्रॉम द आई डिड नॉट हैव एन इकोनॉमी बैकग्राउंड आई हैव हैड एन एक्सपोजर टिल से टेंथ और ट्वेल्थ बट आई डिड नॉट हैव एन एक्सपोजर टू द पर्टिकुलर सब्जेक्ट सो इट वॉज आई मीन आई ट्राई टू रीड इकोनॉमिक सर्वे ड्यूरिंग माई प्रिपरेशन डेज बट देर वेर मेनी कॉन्सेप्ट विच आई वुड से डेट आई एक्सप्लोर इन डेप्थ वाइल राइटिंग दिस बुक and i thought that at that time i had read it but uh, i have put it in a more organized way in this book so those who read this book uh, should have a better foundation than me and uh, uh, probably would intensify the competition which uh, would give us good officers in the future similarly i mean if you go through the other topics i believe geography is very well written uh, because uh, the author himself i mean it's all about your niche you know the subject you are good at you you get a good grasp on it and then you are able to present it in a way which uh, which reflects your style which uh, which helps students get a better understanding even environment and ecology is very well written history i would say it's a good summary because it's a vast subject in itself so i cannot say that you know you just uh, read and replicate but it it's a good it it's really good for revision uh, perspective aapko sare points aapko pata rahenge if you are you know going for say prelims or uh, if you are uh, into your last days of mains and you are just you just have to revise so you can go through it you can add a few points that all right uh, this is something which i have to highlight you know aap just say you prepare key notes or summaries for yourself so uh, history would re- history would really help you there culture will really help you there so there are topics which are complete in themselves and there are topics where uh, they would assist your foundation in a in in a overall i would say that it's a uh, it's a it's a spectrum of the preparation uh, on which you build upon your foundation i mean you definitely have to study beyond the book uh, I, mm-hmm. i would it would be a crime if i say that you know uh, this after this book will uh, get you qualified you know i mean uh, personally having experienced the examination i do not believe uh, any author or any book can claim that but i can definitely claim that it would give students a good foundation uh even uh, especially to the beginners i would say because at that time you are trying to explore the subject which is um actually so vast you are trying to uh, get a semblance of the examination how to prepare how to study what to study in the beginning so in that moment i believe this book would be really helpful to aspirants yes sir thank you sir uh, since you spoke about uh, your inspiration on writing this book uh will coming to the civil services what was your inspiration to serve for the nation when did you decide that i would like to attend for the civil services uh look there are a couple of things uh, which i would like to mention here i mean the first thing is that i belong to a middle class family in bihar so uh, uh somehow i believe that there is a bit of influence there is a bit of liking there is a tilt towards this service you have it in yourself you uh, you feel like एक बार तो देना चाहिए आई मीन द एग्जामिनेशन बिकॉज इट कैरीज सो मच रेपुटेशन एंड नाउ हैविंग बीन इन द सर्विस आई वुड से लॉट ऑफ रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी द सेकेंड एस्पेक्ट इज दैट एट दैट टाइम आई वॉज वर्किंग इन अ प्राइवेट फॉर्म इन हैदराबाद एंड देर वर सर्टन पर्सनल इशूज ऑल्सो आई मीन आई हैव माई ओन ओरिएंटेशन टूवर्ड्स सोसाइटी आई आई हैव ह्यूज डिल्ट टूवर्ड्स लिटरेचर and uh, uh, nationalistic poetry so i believe that they were also one uh, some of the reasons why uh, i was not a lot comfortable with the job which i was posted in at that moment and uh, uh, certainly i mean in civil services you have uh, you have a certain freedom of 
your routine despite uh, everything being hectic there are there uh, there is an authority to your routine so uh, that was something which i did not have at that time so i was not comfortable you know with the 12 to 12 routine i i am more a morning person so even if uh, even if it is a hectic schedule of 16 or 18 hours i still like to get up in the morning and have a nice workout and then start my day so that is something which i have had here so those were the things which you know which pushed me towards uh, civil services and uh, definitely there was a lot of help from family seniors friends who eventually helped me crack the examination yes sir that is wonderful sir sir and there are many aspirants who are still in doubt if they are like capable enough or would they be, be would they be molded enough to uh, attempt the civil service examination like is there a certain per- personality aspect that aspirant needs uh, to try the examination like can everyone attempt this examination or is there is there any criteria uh, <laughs> look um, uh, the number of seats is definitely limited so no matter no matter how meritorious someone is i mean uh, uh, obviously there there cannot be more than say 1000 or whatever the, the vacancies are but uh, um, i believe that uh, uh, i mean i belong to a middle class family i believe that if i can crack this examination everybody can crack this examination that is my personal belief the only thing is that uh, uh, you need uh, uh, you need an urge there is there has to be a motivation there has to be a push and it cannot be an external one i mean it cannot be like that okay abhijit has, i am i know abhijit he has cleared mains he's he's a good friend of mine he's uh, he's really popular so i should also attempt this examination that external locus cannot carry you through one year of examination process and one year of preparation that has to come from inside you need to have a, an interest in knowing about the the political system of the country the economic system of the country the social system of the country uh, once you have that empathy it it helps you you know uh, inculcate that that push uh, to clear the examination and that is something which uh, which differentiates people from i mean those who get selected and probably those who do not i mean i won't say that everybody who does not get selected does not have the push but that is one of the significant characteristics yes sir so it needs both uh, motivation and dedication sir coming to the examination aspect like there are three main exam stages for the civil services the prelims yeah. mains and interview like uh, according to you which one would be the most difficult like is it uh, generally is it it is considered that prelims is the most difficult stage is it uh, rightly said uh, personally at times even i felt that but uh, probably the reason was because prelims is for elimination if you if you look at the the way the examination has been constructed again in my opinion prelims is for elimination because you cannot uh, you know uh, you cannot evaluate 10 lakh answer sheets in mains so naturally there is a certain number which uh, which you are comfortable with you want to reduce it to that number and that is why you have prelims i mean uh, the cut off varies right you you can have uh, say for example if everybody is scoring above 110 the cut off will go to 130 it's not like if everybody scores 110 then everybody qualifies for mains so uh, there is a certain number which has to be uh, eliminated from the at the prelim stage itself so yes prelims is very difficult that way because uh, there is a good chance of elimination and the answers are always in you know yes or no there is no there is no middle ground there um but uh, there is another thing which i would like to mention whenever i prepared for the examination it was always about mains i believe that prelims is a subset of mains prelims is always a part of mains all of your focus all of your energy should be diverted towards the preparation for mains the analysis the key points which you have to remember the answer writing everything it has to be about mains now uh, of course you have to strategize for example when i was preparing in my first attempt i devoted say around 2 months for prelims particularly focusing on objective type question papers and trying to answer test papers in a closed environment with 2 hours whether it is through test series or by getting test papers and trying to solve them in a closed room with a with a stopwatch but uh, uh in con- in the subsequent attempts i believe it was more about one month so i was comfortable with uh, one month time you because you need to revise the main points you don't want to miss out on them Aap, aapke ek, uh, har topic pe ek foundation hota hai. i had like uh, five or six bo- different books so again there i said par, uh, for example if i am trying to revise polity uh, 
at uh, during my preparation days i read didi basu so it used to take me around 6 and a half to 7 hours to revise that book i i still have that it was completely dark after markings and all everything so uh, that was again one of the things where which i mentioned like i have uh, in lux it is like 100 to 120 pages the entire quality section so if after a thorough reading you can revise it in like 2 to 3 hours so i believe that is a that is a good time saving technique uh, coming to mains and interview i would say uh, that uh, just as difficult because uh, the quality of examination is very different uh, prelims may agar risk elimination ka tha to wahan par positive ye bhi tha that you do not have to think about answering anything you just have to choose among the options yahan par aapko wo cheeze sochni hai plus uh, the pattern of examination i believe that uh, the the entropy of this examination is the most uh, you know fair thing i mean the the unfairness of the examination is the most fair thing in this examination you don't know what, what type of question they are going to ask uh, for example 2013 mein jab humne mains likha tha pattern change hua they gave us 25 questions to answer in 3 hours now at that time you either you can get very depressed at how the hell am i going to answer 25 questions or you can strategize that all right i have 7 7 and a half minutes for each question and i am going to write the best i can in that particular limited time so uh, uh, difficulty lies at every stage you cannot distinguish it you have to uh, get past every stage you have to be successful every time so that eventually you are in the selection list but yes even uh, for me if you if you ask me prelims was a bit dicey i won't exactly say difficult but it was a bit dicey yes sir so since we are speaking about uncertainty uncertainty of the exam like uh, recently uh, people are saying that the variability of the prelims exam examination has increased because the elimination strategies that used to work earlier are not working right now because uh, questions are coming right now like uh, which among the following are correct and the options are like uh, only one only two or all of the above so elimination is a bit difficult now do you agree that there is increasing variability in the prelims examination and if so how would lakshya as a book help to address that problem uh look uh, i believe that uh, the variability was always there uh, i took personally i took three attempts i believe 2012 was the most difficult prelims paper which i faced and uh, the marks accordingly were relatively less but uh, upsc has already been you know about uh, Uh, about difficult mcqs if i may say aap baki exams ke mcqs dekhiye they would not they would not never ask you straight questions wo hamesha char options denge and the four options will be complete statements with a lot of facts it won't be like uh, a straight forward statement and then they will ask you you know to uh, to answer a particular question so uh, uh, i believe the exam is just the way it is and uh, every aspirant who is writing the examination at that time वो उसको एंजॉय भी करेगा वो उसको क्वेश्चन भी करेगा वो उसे उससे डर भी लगेगा बट वेन ही क्वालिफाइज यूल बी प्राउड ऑल्सो सो आई बिलीव दैट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यस यू यू हैव टू एक्सेप्ट दैट देर इज अटन अनप्रडिक्टेबिलिटी इन द एग्जामिनेशन नो मैटर हाउ मच यू प्रिपेयर दे ऑलवेज फाइंड समथिंग टू सरप्राइज यू दैट दैट इज जस्ट द ब्यूटी ऑफ दिस एग्जामिनेशन ha huh. one thing has has changed after 2014 that i, I must say that csat has become uh, you know it, it has just been reduced to qualifying paper so uh, gs mein thoda difficulty ho gaya because the cut off has raised cut off has been raised because of that to aapko aur thoda intensify karke apni padhai ko karna padta hai as far as lakshya is concerned uh, again i would say that uh, uh, you need a good foundation a strong foundation aap aake bahut sari ncrts bahut sari cheeze padhte ho to uh, i believe that in definitely in most of the topics आपको एक स्ट्रॉन्ग फाउंडेशन उस बुक से डायरेक्टली मिल जाएगा डेट इज द फर्स्ट बेनिफिट विच आई कैन असर्टिवली क्लेम एंड एंड आई बिलीव दैट विल डेफिनेटली कीप ऑन इम्प्रूविंग इट एज एज द रिवाइज एडिशन कम वी हैव आइडिया वी हैव सर्टन डिस्कशन अमॉन्ग दमंग दर्स अबाउट हाउ वी आर गोइंग टू इम्प्रूव अपॉन इट द सेकेंड थिंग आई वुड से डेट टू एड्रेस अनप्रडिक्टेबिलिटी यू नीड टू I I did I used to do one particular thing. आप टेस्ट पेपर्स प्रैक्टिस करिए जैसे टेस्ट सीरीज आपके शेड्यूल्ड रहते हैं फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू राइटिंग फाइव टेस्ट सीरीज और टेन टेस्ट मे बी विथ पर्टिकुलर इंस्टीट्यूट और समथिंग सो वन थिंग विच मैटर्स इज कि आपका टेस्ट जो है वो कितना डाइवर्स है फॉर एग्जाम्पल मैंने कई बार देखा है कि ऐसा टेस्ट में होता है डेट 
you know, just to ensure that the test series informs the aspirants. Uh, they will have like 10 straight questions from environment, then 10 straight questions from geography, then 10 straight questions from history or something like that. So that does not happen in the real examination. You should always look for test papers, which are as, uh, you know, which are the best simulations of the of the examinations. I mean, you get one question on geography and suddenly you have a question on international relations. So uh, that, that trains your mind to switch from topic to topic and still, uh, you know, collect the information within the least possible time. That is something which you have to train yourself. The second thing is that uh, uh, UPSC is very conscious of current affairs. So uh, uh, I do not expect uh, straight, you know, uh, straight factual questions. For example, uh, if you there are, uh, I, I could not prepare it, but I had in mind, you know, uh, uh, the model code of conduct. Abhi elections still ran. So the first question, the first thing I would, uh, if I am an, if I am putting a question paper, the first thing I would like to know is whether people know that MCC is a legal document, or it is just a, uh, uh, it is not, it is a non-binding document. So that is the first thing I would like to ask. Understand the concept behind this, whether it is enforceable or it is non-enforceable. And uh, who prepares the guidelines? Is it the election commission? Is it the parliament? Are both of them involved? Are the states consulted about it? Uh, you know, consulting parties to it? Is the judiciary involved there? So this is this is the basic concept which you have to understand that, okay, this is elections are going on. Probably this is something on which I can expect a question. Or maybe uh, there are multiple uh, uh, you know, incidents where uh, states are approaching Supreme Court uh, uh, re related to central state disputes. So that that could be one of the topics on which I can expect a question probably in the prelims or in the mains, like the authority of the governor. So uh, uh, these are the things which, I mean, you obviously prepare our foundation and uh, I, I definitely assert that Laksh provides you a good foundation there, but your strategy should include uh, always try to try to preempt what all can you guess? What all can you predict in the examination? And as an aspirant, we often think that we cannot do it, but I do not believe that. Uh, if, if you, as Because as a bureaucrat also, you have to do it. You're not, it's not like you are given a, a, a you know, a, a defined situation where you can always have a straightforward answer. You always try to preempt what is going to happen. So why not start it during the preparation days? Right? So I, I'll try to, uh, you know, summarize myself. Lux provides you a good foundation but have these strategies in mind for prelims uh, to, uh, you know, to improve your, uh, uh, your dependence upon the unpredictability to, to reduce the setbacks because of unpredictability, practice as many test papers, which are a good simulation of the examination. And when you read current affairs, try to guess what can be asked uh, from, from this in the examination. Can they frame something from this or not? And, that, and on that topic, you should have a good understanding of the concepts. Uh, sir, on that note, uh, for an average aspirant, how many mock uh, test series would you suggest uh, one should do before the prelims examination? Like, is there a set number, like 30 test series of 100 questions? I won't go as far as 30. I mean, um, I believe that uh, if you need 30 tests, then uh, you have to uh, go back to your foundation. I believe that uh, five tests can give you a proper idea five good tests can give you an idea of where you stand, right? Because uh, you have the historical data, you know that, okay, the GS cutoff is maybe between 100 and 120. So if you are crossing those cutoffs, you are reasonably ahead of the cutoff in five tests. That is a fair number. After that, your focus should be on, you know, revising your foundation as much as possible so that you do not forget those facts. And one thing I would definitely suggest is that the statements, uh, you should always try to, uh, to keep your mind, you know, you should always try to keep uh, maintain your concentration to understand that it is a positive statement or a negative statement. Sometimes a word as simple as not, you you don't read it and you uh, take the wrong option. It it happens in the examination also and even in the test series. So those those mistakes should definitely be eliminated when you write the test series. You should try to assess uh, what is your uh, what is your accuracy in the questions where you are guessing the answers? Are you making uh, accurate guesses or not? Because uh, this also happens to people. When I used to answer, I my attempt used to remain around, you know, I, I had in mind that, okay, I'll answer around 80 questions, uh, probably 60, 65, something where I'm pretty sure, maybe 15 questions where 
uh, I, I'll make a guesswork. Now, obviously, where you are pretty sure there also there will be some wrong answers, and where you are guessing there will be some right answers. So, on an average, the test series should give you an idea that okay, if I have attempted this many questions, this is my basic accuracy. I can expect my answers, you know, uh, my marks to be somewhere around this. Yeah. So, coming to the next stage of the examination, the mains. Uh, the major dilemma that aspirants face here is that should they focus on the basic idea, understanding the basic idea, or should they mug up all the facts and figures in the first go itself? So, what should an aspirant focus on? Should it be facts or on the idea itself? And like, uh, and about uh, with respect to Lexia, what has Lexia focused on? Is it idea, facts? Or would it would Lexia suffice for all the factoids uh, that an aspirant needs for the uh, I, I did not get the word which you said in the end. Sir, the uh, factoids, the facts, like okay. uh, facts needed for the examination, for the means, like understand, okay. understanding the idea versus getting the facts right. Uh, see, uh, you obviously need both. For example, if I have an answer which presents an idea with facts, I'll definitely uh, award it more marks than an answer which has only ideas or an answer which has only facts. So uh, that that much uh, I I certainly believe is the way uh, they evaluate the answer sheets. Um, as far as uh, facts are concerned, uh, I believe it is easy to remember facts if you are uh, using it to supplement your understanding. For example, uh, recently the Monetary Policy Committee released its report. Now everybody must be knowing that okay they have uh, left the repo rate unchanged at some six point five percent or something. Now, uh, uh, now everybody for everybody must be knowing this, but how do you relate to this fact? I mean, it could be what is six point five percent? It could be eight point five percent. How do you know what is the difference? It could be four point five percent. How do you know what is the difference? Now, mm -hmm. for that you need to have a basic understanding of the concepts of the economy. That okay, how long have the rate left the rate? I mean, uh, the rate unchanged. First, you have to understand what is monetary policy. That okay, repo rate is the uh, you know the policy instrument. The target rate is the weighted average call rate. Then, um, you know, uh, if it is left at 6.5%, how long have they kept it there? Why have they not changed it? If there is, if the pressure on the economy eases, what are they going to do? Will they reduce it or will they increase it? Right? So if they are increasing it, I should know that they are going to target inflation. It means that the inflationary pressures have not succumbed. It has not been eased. If they reduce it, then probably it means that Gradually, it is easing. We are reading about, you know, the core inflation has eased, but it has not eased in other sectors. So they are probably following a careful policy. That is why it is at 6.5%. Now, why 6.5%? Because our target is 4% plus or minus 2%. That is our range, right? Uh, or uh, if I think uh, 4, 4 plus minus 2 or 2 plus minus 2, I'm not sure. I think 4 plus minus 2. Plus that is the range. So, uh, so there you have to understand the significance. So in that scenario, it will be it will be easier for you to understand that okay, why 6.5 percent? Why not 8.5 percent? Or why not 9.5 percent? Then how does it get transmitted to the economy? So uh, uh, I believe that uh, facts. There is no harm in uh, in knowing facts, but uh, the focus should not be only about mugging it up. Always try to find why do you remember to need this? I mean, why do you need to remember this fact? Where can you use it actually? So then uh, probably it would be better for developing good answers. Yes, sir. Uh, good balance is needed, sir. And uh, regarding uh, new aspirants that uh, that are coming new into the preparation, like should they always start with NCRT books and standard books? Or uh, is it possible that they can start from reading Lexia for the initial preparation? What would you suggest? Look, uh, NCRT books has been... Uh, they have a very holy status in the preparations. So uh, I will not be denting that, but I will definitely say that, you know, uh, you preparation ke liye aato, maine bhi sixth class se NCRTs padna shuru kiya tha. So you read the whole book, 120, 130 pages usually, abhi bhi wahi, uh, hai. Uh, and what you get in a nutshell is about 20 to 30 pages, right? So uh, I believe that uh, there are topics, for example, again, I would say, um, Economy ke liye, I am not so sure that NCRT book will be very helpful. Wahan par, uh, par aapko laksh bilkul help karega. Polity ke liye aapko laksh bilkul help karega because yahan par aapko depth mein constitution padna hai. Aur uh, NCRT mein aapko concepts ka bilkul uh, introduction mil jayega. To wahan par, I believe laksh is required. Uh, similarly, agar main agar dusre topics ki baat karu, geography. Geography also has been put in a very concise way. 
तो आई वुड से डेट गो फॉर लक्ष्य और उसके बाद यू ऑलवेज हैव द ऑप्शन टू एक्सप्लोर इफ आई इफ यू हैव मिस्ड एनीथिंग बिकॉज एन सी आर टी बुक्स आर ऑल्सो गेटिंग रिवाइज सो एक बार आपने फाउंडेशन प्रिपेयर कर लिया अपना उसके बाद यू शुड ऑलवेज कीप ऑन एक्सप्लोरिंग यू शुड ऑलवेज हैव आई मीन आई कम टू डैट आपके पास अपना स्टडी ग्रुप होना चाहिए जो हमेशा आपके नॉलेज को सप्लीमेंट करे एंड एंड देश एंड अगर उनके सोर्सेस डाइवर्स हैं और उतने ही अच्छे हैं तो फिर आपका आपका बेस उतना ही स्ट्रांग हो जाता है सो यू कैन डेफिनेटली गो फॉर लक्ष्य कई कई टॉपिक्स हैं जिनमें आप उसको रिप्लेस कर सकते हैं बट आई वुड सजेस्ट दैट वंस यू हैव यू हैव हैड योर फाउंडेशन आप उसको साथ साथ एक्सप्लोर कर सकते हो एन सी बुक्स देर इज नो हार्म एंड Yes, sir. Uh, sir, uh, coming to your professional life, uh, I have already seen somebody asking this question in the chat box. Well, uh, we all know the hectic nature of your work. It is not a nine-to-five job. You have to be available twenty-four into seven. So, how do you balance your personal life and professional life? Like, is there a tussle between both? Uh, there always is. I mean, uh, uh, you you have at times when I mean the aspirants will know once they are married, <laughs> but. Um, uh i would say that uh, please try to develop your hobbies um, uh, everybody has some uh, some of the other thing which you like from your childhood uh, please do not sacrifice it in the name that okay i am preparing for the examination so i cannot do it i i sincerely do not believe in that because uh, aap hamesha as an aspirant sochte hain ki agar mera selection nahi hua to main kya karunga ye to sabhi log sochte hain but you do not plan ki agar mera selection hua to main kya karunga are you going to do only that job are you going to limit your sub personality to that job because uh, uh, i believe that uh, in that scenario aap us job ke sath bhi justice nahi kar payenge uh, the job is a you know it's an all india service and it needs as many diverse personalities as possible that enriches the service so as far as i am concerned uh, as i said i i have an interest in literature so i read and write poetry i read fiction and non fiction reading is uh, one of my important hobbies even apart from whatever i am reading for my job uh, apart from that uh, i like to play cricket i like to watch war related movies so and plus i i definitely spend some time with my family every day i have two daughters so that is something which helps me keep my balance that's that's wonderful sir uh, and also would it be possible if you could share some memorable experience from your service where it had a significant impact on you like we should also inspire the aspirants who are listening to this i'll share a couple of experiences the first mm-hmm. i would say that uh, uh, i was not an i was into gymming but i was not an athlete i had a history of bronchitis so uh, i was very happy uh, when i completed the 16 km challenge as an ips Uh, you have to run 16 kilometers within uh, a maximum of 102 minutes uh, in one go with all of your batchmates everybody has to undertake the test so uh, before coming into the service i i had not run even 400 meters at at in one go and uh, i ran 16 kilometers with confidence in injury and uh, i completed that was that was a memorable achievement for me i mean uh, the training uh, certainly gave me confidence that i can handle the real world i can handle the job in the real world uh, another experience was i mean being part of the law enforcer sometimes you have to use force so i was in a certain district i had to use force so uh, that was the first time i realized that okay i have some element of uh, bravery and uh, resistance in me because uh, it was a it was a very difficult decision to make and uh, incidentally uh, uh, i mean the the camaraderie which i saw that was something which inspired me a lot because the next day that uh, again there were issues which i had to handle but uh, uh, one of my uh, uh, one of my comrades i would say uh, i came to know of it later that he was there to protect my family and he had done everything i came to know after everything has had passed away so uh, uh it it's a it was a, a true feeling of you know an all india service that okay uh, in uniform there is no religion there is no caste there is nothing which matters when you are actually doing your duty so these are uh, i believe two very important experiences i would like to share one more uh, it's uh, i don't know i have uh, very mixed feelings regarding uh, <laughs> regarding this experience but i do like to share it because at times we feel you know that uh, uh, आप 
आप जब शुरुआत में प्रिपरेशन करते हैं तो आप जॉब के बारे में सोचते हैं कि मेरा पहले सिलेक्शन हो जाए जब आप सिलेक्शन हो जाए तो आप ग्रेजुअली अपनी पोस्टिंग्स के बारे में सोचते हैं आप उन जगहों के बारे में सोचते हैं जहाँ आप आ, आप काम कर रहे हैं बट दिस जॉब ऑफर्स यू एन अपॉर्चुनिटी टू सर्व पीपल इन द रिमोटेस्ट प्लेसेस लुक अप टू यू हु रिवियर यू माई फर्स्ट पोस्टिंग वॉज यू नो इन 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 डिस्ट्रिक्ट झांसी एंड I was posted in a place which is the biggest tehsil of India, Moranipur, and uh, uh, you know, uh, a person he came to meet me when I was transferred just because I had got his complaint registered. Now he was a uh, he was from a uh, from an average background. I was very surprised, but while I mean it was a mixed feeling because it gave me satisfaction that I was of help, and I was sad because uh, uh, for this minuscule thing he had to come to me. so it was a mixed feeling but it keeps on driving me so these are some of the uh, the experiences experiences i mean which i i believe that uh, which keep you going in the service thank you sir for sharing it uh, sir uh, coming back again to the upsc uh, preparation uh, thing sir timelines are very important for the examinations so uh, like uh, when the revisions are needed uh, before both prelims and mains and for uh, using lakshya as a source uh, for a preparation how many revisions would you suggest uh, with uh, this particular lakshya book before both prelims and mains examination look uh, i mean it all depends upon the aspirant hopefully if i may say uh, jahan tak prelims ki baat hai prelims mein aapko fingertips pe cheezon ki zarurat nahi hai because you just have to see and you have to verify whether it is right or wrong you aapko wahan par options ke basis pe choose karna hai तो वहाँ पर आई बिलीव अगेन ऑब्वियसली योर फोकस इज टू वेन एवर यू आर स्टडिंग आप उसको रिटेन करें चीज़ों को और अगेन विद अ फोकस ऑन मेन्स फिल्म्स में आप लास्ट टाइम में आप एलिमिनेशन स्ट्रेटजी पे अपनी फोकस करें एज फार एज रिविजन आई वुड से आई मीन अ कपल ऑफ रिविजन आर फाइन इफ यू इफ यू हैव अ गुड एनालिटिकल स्किल्स अ कपल ऑफ रिविजन आर फाइन जो दो तीन चीज़ें मैं मेंशन करना चाहूँगा दैट इज द फर्स्ट थिंग यू नीड टू हैव अ गुड सोर्स आई बिलीव दैट लक्ष्य इज अ गुड सोर्स हो सकता है आई मीन एवरीबडी हैज अ डिफरेंट बैकग्राउंड सो यू माइट नो सम बेटर सोर्स फॉर सम सर्टेन पर्टिकुलर टॉपिक्स यू यू ऑब्वियसली हैव द लिबर्टी टू ऑप्ट फॉर दो सोर्सेज द सेकेंड थिंग इज योर हार्डवर्क टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट द थर्ड थिंग इज दैट यू नीड टू हैव अ गुड एनालिसिस फॉर uh, एग्जाम्पल uh, जब मैंने प्रिपरेशन शुरू की थी मैंने डी डी वसु पढ़ना शुरू किया था आई वॉज वर्किंग इन अ प्राइवेट फॉर्म उस समय रीडिंग स्पीड कम थी बिकॉज नेचुरली द टर्मिनोलॉजी वॉज न्यू एट वेन आई केम टू डेली वेन आई वेन आई जॉइन अ सर्टन कोचिंग इंस्टीट्यूट आई स्टडीड देयर फॉर फिल्म प्रिपरेशन फॉर टू एंड हाफ थ्री मंथ्स एंड एस्पिरेंट्स के साथ डिस्कशन होने लगे देन आई रियलाइज डेट ओके आई हैव रेड दिस बट आई डो नॉट अंडरस्टैंड दिस for example uh, the concept of cooperative federalism every uh, every book will mention it but uska significance kya hai you have to understand this so my point is that aap jab ek book padhe aapko koi aisa shabd milta hai jo aapko bahut which which you are not very clear about please explore it please try yeah. to understand ki uska matlab kya hai that is very important that is how you retain what you study so that is very important whether for i mean you are reading laksh or any other book तो ये सबसे पहली चीज है जो बहुत जरूरी है वंस यू हैव रेड द बुक यू हैव एनालाइज्ड इट प्रॉपर्ली यू नीड टू हैव अ स्ट्रेटजी फॉर रिवीजन दैट इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज यू नीड टू हैव थिंग्स इन योर ऑन योर फिंगर टिप्स आप प्रीलिम्स के लिए भी जब आप अपीयर होते हैं यू हैव हार्डली अब अब मिनट टू आंसर अ पर्टिकुलर क्वेश्चन एंड इवन इन मेन्स यू हार्डली हैव लाइक थर्टी सेकेंड्स टू फ्रेम द आंसर टू अ क्वेश्चन एटलीस्ट द स्ट्रक्चर यू नीड सिक्स एंड हाफ टू सेवन मिनट्स टू राइट एन आंसर सो so, uh, वो चीज़ें जल्द से जल्द आपके फिंगर टिप्स पर तभी आएंगी जब आप uh, चीज़ों को एनालाइज करके अच्छे से पढ़ेंगे आई बिलीव दैट लक्ष्य इज इज अ गुड सोर्स ऑन दैट बैकग्राउंड एंड ऑब्वियसली योर एनालिसिस विल टेक यू टू अदर सोर्सेस एंड अलाउ यू टू बिल्ड अपॉन इट सर कमिंग टू अनदर क्वेश्चन लाइक देर इज एन इनकनवीनियंट ट्रूथ दैट नॉट एवरीबडी कैन क्लियर द एग्जामिनेशन टेन लैक अप्लाई फॉर द एग्जामिनेशन एंड ओनली थाउजेंड almost thousand only the clear it so where does failure occur uh, like is there any particular thing that uh, students do that uh, give them uh, give failure to them 
and uh, could you also share some techniques that has helped you in preparation that that has been different from the general uh, aspirin community uh look uh, first of all uh, i would not call it failure i mean see uh, there are jab 10 lakh log prelims likh rahe hain there are multiple you know students who have different levels of preparation and that 15000 say 15 or 20000 people write the mains examination if i'm not wrong so uh, the rest i mean there are people who are i mean there is there is a certain section of aspirants who are at times are curious about the examination तो उस केस में थोड़ा मुश्किल होता है प्रिलिम्स को क्लियर कर पाना कई बार आप कर भी देते हैं कई बार आप नहीं क्लियर कर पाते हैं देर आर एट टाइम्स यू माइट हैव आई वुड से द क्वेश्चंस माइट बी डिफिकल्ट आई मीन नॉट एवरीबॉडी इज गुड एट एवरी सब्जेक्ट राइट तो फॉर एग्जांपल आई हैव अ साइंस बैकग्राउंड तो मेरे लिए साइंस के टॉपिक्स को समझना रिटेन करना आसान है आई डो नॉट एक्सपेक्ट एवरी ह्यूमैनिटी इज गाइड टू हैव द सेम अंडरस्टैंडिंग जस्ट द वे आई डो नॉट एक्सपेक्ट माई सेल्फ टू हैव the same understanding as a humanities guy in those subjects to wo wo difference hamesha rehta hai so uh, as i said the unfairness of this examination is the most fair thing about this examination to wo aapko accept karna padega usme there is no option about even if everybody scores uh, say 150 marks in gs they will find some way to you know eliminate 9 lakh 80000 people out of 20000 so aapke liye sabse important ye hai ki agar aap nahi qualify kar rahe hain तो इज इट बिकॉज यू आर नॉट एबल टू गेट अनफ मार्क्स और इज इट अबाउट समथिंग एल्स ये सबसे पहली चीज आपको देखनी पड़ेगी प्रिलिम्स में थोड़ा सा मुश्किल होता है बिकॉज प्रिलिम्स में नेचुरली कट ऑफ डिपेंडेंट है बट मेन्स में यू गेट अ बेटर आइडिया अबाउट आप कहाँ पर लैग कर रहे हैं या कहाँ पर आपको इम्प्रूवमेंट की और जरूरत है वन थिंग आई वुड लाइक टू से इज एज फार एज द एग्जामिनेशन इज कंसर्न जो आई लर्न इट फ्रॉम माई फिजिक्स टीचर वन आई रोट माई फर्स्ट अटेम्प्ट इट वॉज विद मैथ्स एंड फिजिक्स आफ्टर दैट इट वॉज वन ऑप्शन फॉर आई रोट इट विद मैथमेटिक्स ही यूज टू से ओनली वन थिंग दैट यू नो एवरीबडी टॉक्स अबाउट स्केलिंग नाउ नो बडी नोज वॉट एक्जैक्टली स्केलिंग इज वो कैसे हो रहा है अक्रॉस सब्जेक्ट्स बट द फैक्ट ऑफ द मैटर इज दैट योर प्रेजेंटेशन मैटर्स अ लॉट सो आई मीन द बेस्ट प्रेजेंटेशन should get the best marks in the lot of the answer sheets which are being evaluated by any particular teacher right so aapka uh, presentation bahut matter karta hai wo aur wo wo tabhi aayega jab aapne personally apna time invest karke value addition kiya hai i mean uh, no good no matter how good a book is no matter how good a teacher is aapko us pe build on karna padega to to add uh, if i may say your own signature to the answer that that only qualifies you for the examination interview uh, hey interview i mean it's a bit subjective so uh, i cannot say exactly you know that this is the particular strategy or that is the particular strategy aapko aapko guide karne ke liye bahut sari cheeze milengi people will groom you and there is a lot of usme uh, uh, aapko experience bahut mil, uh, mil jayega uh, i would just like to mention a couple of things about uh, you know that that uh, uh, you cannot change your personality in 3 months so uh, i would uh, i believe that agar agar kisi agar koi banda aisa hai jiska I mean, suppose you have an ideal routine in your mind for an interview. अगर वो रूटीन आपने अपने मेंस या प्रीलिम्स के प्रिपरेशन के टाइम से मेंटेन करके रखा है, I believe that person has a uh, has has a higher chance of success as compared to a person who is trying to switch on to it immediately. I mean, there will always be exceptions. I I'm not saying that there are not there are no exceptions to this, but uh, uh, having uh, having written the examination in a certain way with a certain uh, hard work and discipline, I believe that uh, uh, these are the necessary and must conditions for qualifying so uh, the first thing try to develop your own analytical skills try to add your own signatures to how you write the answers how you start and how you end aap ise is tarah se samajh lijiye ki aap aap usi topic pe ho sakta hai aap 2000 words mein aise likh rahe ho 150 marks ke liye aur usi topic par aap 200 words mein ek 10 marks ka answer likh rahe ho now both the both the you both of your presentations have to be complete in themselves so how do you do that so that is something which you have to develop it only comes with better analytical skills jo time ke sath aata hai aapko time invest karna padta hai aap jo bhi cheez chahe coaching mein padhe ya book mein padhe usko aap evaluate kare build upon it keep some time for your own uh, you know uh, thought process aap uh, better hoga agar aap uh, kisi bhi topic whatever topic which aapko lagta hai ki important hai jo aapki curiosity ko thoda badhata hai aap us pe jo hai 15 20 minutes spend kare daily basis pe to okay if i have to write about this how will i present it i believe that that is something which will give you a distinction and uh, that will increase your chances for qualification
Yes, sir. Thank you. Sir, my last question to you is uh, that have you planned for any new big a book in the future? Uh, is there anything in the pipeline, a new book? Actually, there is. I mean, uh, I'm hoping that before mains, uh, the book on international relations comes out. Uh, again, uh, the co-author is uh, one of my college seniors and we prepared together. Uh, he helped me a lot during my examination days. So uh, we, have worked, we have worked hard on it. And uh, I hope, uh, I mean, the topic is quite dynamic and uh, uh, one of the topics which uh, I have a lot of interest in. So uh, I hope it helps the aspirants. Thank you, sir. Sir, uh, very much thank you for sharing your deep insights and experiences and helping out the aspirant community. Now I would like to hand over to Ms. Aishirya to handle the question and answer session from the chat box. Thank you. Aishirya, you are muted. Um, thank you, Abhishek sir and Abhijit for giving us such an insightful session. Uh, your guidance on study techniques is truly beneficial in preparation journey of UPSC exam. Uh, I kindly request everyone to participate uh, uh, to participate in filling the feedback form with the, which is mandatory for the participation certificate. Furthermore, I would like to mention that the link of the book Laksha, a compendium of journal studies for UPSC civil services mm -hmm. and state services examination uh, authored by IPS Abhishek Jha is posted in the chat section. You can refer to the link to explore more about the book. Uh, now let's proceed to the Q&A question, uh, Q&A session. Uh, the first question is to you, Abhishek sir, is what role do you think technology plays in the preparation for UPSC exam and how do you leverage it effectively? Okay, I'll, I'll share uh, a personal experience because I am personally very fond of technology. Uh, when the syllabus changed from 2012 the entire paper 3 which I prepared it was from internet sources. There was no book available for that. And still, I, I believe uh, there are some, uh, some books which have tried to attempt it. Uh, and I mean, I'm not sure how I, I won't be I'm not in a position to evaluate them, but uh, um, there are lots of journals. There are lots of, you know, uh, good essays. There are lots of good websites. Jo aapko exam ke liye se prepare karte hai. I'll, I'll give you a few examples. Uh, money laundering is, a, is, is one of the topics which you have to prepare for paper three. So uh, luckily when I searched for it, to mujhe, uh, law academy ka ek journal mila tha. It was around 50 pages, but it was the nicest document I have ever read on money laundering. So that was my preparation document. So that is how technology helps you because it brings so many, so much of information uh, at your fingertips. Similarly, international relations, ki agar baat karu, there is Institute of South Asian Studies. There is Indian Council of World Affairs. There is IDSA. Uh, there is Organization uh, Observatory Research Foundation. There are so many sources which, which are at your fingertips. Of course, you can explore how explore can explore it. Again, your uh, strategy depends on how much time you devote it. But uh, I believe the te technology is the biggest advantage that if you don't have any topic in preparation, you can immediately Google pe search it. You find something about it and you find you know, some semblance of the topic. You, you, you find yourself comfortable with the topic. That is the benefit which technology brings to you. Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, since it was the technology question and you talk about the journals and blogs, so which newspaper do you refer uh, to go on and to read uh, on the daily basis? It's my personal question. Uh, I believe it's still it's a very easy answer. I still read the Hindu. <laughs> it has not it has not changed. Uh, I still read the Hindu. I still read Frontline. So uh, I believe in Hindu is my favorite newspaper. I mean, it still has uh, it still has a good factual analysis. Thank you, sir. Now the question I'm going to uh, is Abhishek sir to you only is uh, does emotional quotient matters in civil services or just stick to our duty parameters being emotionally attached to nation and our citizens? Uh, will it deform your chances while in the interview stage? Uh, you'll have to repeat the question once more. Uh, so the question is basically asking um, your emotion, emotional um, aspect in the interview stage. Um, 
so i'm repeating the question is does emotional caution matter in civil services or just stick to the duty parameters being emotionally attached to nation will it deform your chances while in the interview stage uh, so uh, look uh, you you cannot be uh... unemotionally attached to your nation i i do not believe in that concept it's very difficult i mean it is not something which uh, i can easily imagine of course you have to be professional whether it is your preparations or whether it is your it is your job aapko wo professional boundaries set karni padengi you will have to control your emotions but emotions wahan par matter karte hain uh, as i said uh, you will have to find an internal locus of personality what drives you for this examination तो डैट कम्स टू योर इमोशन हाउ आई मीन वॉट इज योर पर्सनैलिटी मेकअप आपको आपको क्या ड्राइव कर रहा है इस एग्जामिनेशन के लिए तो वहाँ पे आपका इमोशनल क्वेश्चन मैटर करता है सिमिलरली जब आप अपनी जॉब में इवन आप आप जॉब में जब डिसाइड कर रहे हैं कि आपको क्या डिसीजन लेना है ऑफकोर्स द डिसीजन विल बी अकॉर्डिंग टू सर्टन पैरामीटर्स विच द जॉब डिफाइंस फॉर यू यू हैव टू बी प्रोफेशनल बट आपका इमोशन वहाँ पे बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट रोल प्ले करता है इट हेल्प्स यू यू नो uh be more professional at times for example uh, as simple as uh, you know ek ek simple sa fact ki suppose kar liye aapki mere paas agar char logo ki complaint aati hai it might be a very simple complaint right but still uh, i'll use all sorts of technology to identify whether all of all four of them are involved in it or not right now uh, ab unemotionally mai ye soch sakta hu that okay it does not have to be done uh, it's it's a routine procedure let it go through routine but my emotion forces me that you no know, uh, even in the simplest of cases i should try to have the best professional approach so that an innocent person is never penalized right so uh, i think i hope that answers uh, the question definitely sir uh, the next question is uh, uh, abhijit with you to you is how do you answer how do you do answer writing for mains and how to maintain consistency i think this question is for abhishek sir as well if you want to uh answer. i believe abhijit can answer it first then i can add if i if, if there is anything left i'll add, I'll add on to it sir uh, i have a humble suggestion like for answer writing there are three things uh, there are 20 questions in a question paper for a gs paper uh, completing or attempting all the answers is a first thing and then there is the content uh, and then thirdly uh, having a framework for the for every answer like having an introduction uh, the body and conclusion so these three things uh, should be taken care of while uh, giving answers and with regard to consistency uh, you should have a accountability partner or sh- you should stick to a timetable and other than that uh, the first preference among the three things that i said earlier the first preference should be given to uh, uh, adhering to the structure and framework of every answer that is addressing the introduction body and conclusion and try to attempt all the questions uh, should be the first priority just because you don't know the content for the mo- at the moment uh, you should not uh, stall the examination for a future date and forecast need like even if you have lesser content you should always try to attempt the uh, attempt that answer writing is a big thing okay uh, uh, i think i agree uh, with the procrastination part especially because ye kai baar hota hai i mean you do not feel that you know mera preparation shayad thodi kami hai main next attempt mein better prepare kar sakta hu uh, I, i have always believed that uh, you never write this examination uh, you know at your 100% and uh, i don't believe that any aspirant can claim that okay my 100% cheezon ko 100% prepare karke aaya tha i knew everything uh, it, it it doesn't work that way because the syllabus is so vast as far as answer writing is concerned i again uh, agree with the structure i believe that you should be able to frame your structure within say 30 seconds because if you are answering say uh, 20 25 questions within 3 hours you have say 7 to 9 minutes to answer a question now uh, i would say that if if you feel confident that okay i know a lot about this answer maybe you can take extra 30 seconds and deduct it from a question where you believe that okay i'm not so comfortable with this question so that is something which you will have to do on a real time basis in the mains examination that was my strategy and uh, uh, you you should be able to f- uh, formulate the framework within say 30 seconds thank you sir uh, abhishek sir the question is for you is uh, what are some common misconceptions or myths about the upsc exam uh, that you would like to debunk uh, based on your own experience okay uh the first thing is that uh, which i experienced since optionals are still there um science optionals are difficult 
that is the first thing which I would like to debunk. I have a batchmate who scored three for, uh, almost 346 or something in, out of 500 in maths. He got all in the rank 8. And uh, second thing is that, you know, again regarding optionals, that one is more difficult than the other. Uh, the third thing is, uh, I believe that optionals and general studies, you have to understand why there is a difference in their Optionals, you have expertise in optionals. In general studies, you have to ask key level pe knowledge in general level. Hai. So while, uh, I mean, I have, I have seen at times people opting for subjects just uh, on the premise that, okay, this will assist me in the general studies. It might as well. I'm not denying that. But if you are good at something, uh, then wo confidence aapko shirwaat se build karna padega. Again, as I said, it has to be an, it has to come from within. It has to be an internal locus. Aap jo bhi choose kar rahe ho, it has to be, uh, it has to be your own drive. Obviously, I mean, others can definitely support it. But uh, uh, the decision should be made by yourself. Thank you, sir. Next question is uh, is for Abhijit. Any suggestions for aspirants who are trying to manage their college mainly in science background with their UPSC preparation? For students or aspirants who are uh, attempting uh, UPSC from college, like uh, my suggestion would be that uh, they should try to uh, complete the basic standard books and NCRTs while they are in the college itself. And if they are facing difficulty in understanding a certain book, uh, they could always find free resources in YouTube or classes available uh, at many places in the web that they can take uh, support uh, from there. And other than that, uh, at, at, uh, at, at their preparation in college, uh, not much focus has to be given in uh, giving test series. Uh, so uh, in college life, uh, focus should be more on having an understanding so that you have a good groundwork uh, when you go into the full full on preparation mode after college. Hope that answers. Yes, thank you, um, Abhijit. Uh, the next question is uh, for Abhijit and Abhishek sir, for you both. Uh, can you share any memorable or uh, uh, defining moment from your UPSC interview experience? Um, see, UPSC interview for me, it was, I mean, uh, it was difficult to make out, you know, initially how it went. It always seemed fine, but the marks varied uh, between the two selections. Uh, one thing I believe that uh, I was more confident during my last interview in which I got the police service. And uh, one thing, again, I would like to mention that... Uh, I was, uh, I believe one of the things which I, I if, if I would like to change, it was my, uh, you know, uh, it was it was my dedication to how I should appear in front of the board, right? I was not so concerned about uh, dressing up formally, uh, not, not concerned about the, the small things like, you know, how the tie, belt and shoes look while, go, while you enter the examination room. Sometimes we feel that uh, they are very superficial things. Now, uh, in a way they are, but uh, definitely, but if you have a good disciplined look, uh, it gives a good impression. So I believe that was something where I could have done better. Uh, yes, uh, for me, uh, my interview was held last January. I had uh, the board uh, by uh, respected uh, Lieutenant General uh, Raj Shukla. The board was very stoic. Uh, and since I have a background in environment and uh, uh, sustainability most of the questions were dealing with that only and uh, it dealt and there were some questions from budget too and it was pretty much factual based on my detailed application form itself there were no much ups and uh, downs in the interview like it was i had a very stoic interview uh, thank you both of you uh the next next question is specifically for abhishek sir but uh, uh abhijit you can also answer based upon your experiences what apart from academic ex expertise is required the first thing i believe that uh, you need to work upon your personality it has to be uh, it has to be in your routine uh, right from the basic exercise to reading newspapers you know it it uh, sometimes it seems a burden because you are doing daily, but it has to be a part of your routine. After exams, if you don't do that, 
so uh, it becomes difficult at times to grow as an officer you know because there is so much work to do it, it it's it never gets over so wo ek aisi cheez hai jo kahin na kahin uh, it keeps stimulating your brain uh, the second thing is that uh, do uh, do have some time for leisure and your hobby because uh, that is something which you which you build upon you know aap aap shuruaat se us cheez mein time invest karte ho hum kai baar i i at least Uh, during my preparation days, I remember ज्यादातर एस्पिरेंट्स उस चीज पर एग्जाम के बाद प्रिपरेशन शुरू करते थे एंड द हॉबी वॉज एट मेनी टाइम्स इट वॉज नॉट अ हॉबी आई मीन समबडी रोड यू नो डेट आई लाइक कुकिंग देन ही इज लुकिंग एट वीडियोज तो इट्स डिफिकल्ट यू नो सुपरफिशियली डेवलप अ हॉबी एक हॉबी आपका जो है पर्सनैलिटी का उतना ही हिस्सा होता है और वो जॉब में आपको डिलीवर करने में भी हेल्प करता है आई मीन इट इट टेक्स ऑफ प्रेशर वेन एवर यू आर यू नो आप आप लो फील कर रहे हो या बहुत प्रेशर में हो योर हॉबीज योर हॉबीज इज योर माइंड सो आई बिलीव दैट पर्सनालिटी डेवलपमेंट इज द फर्स्ट थिंग जो आपको एकेडमिक्स के अलावा करना बहुत जरूरी है द सेकेंड थिंग इज दैट इट्स अ डिफिकल्ट एग्जामिनेशन बट अ क्रैकेबल एग्जामिनेशन दोनों चीजों को आपको ध्यान में रखना बहुत जरूरी है डू योर बेस्ट बट ऑलवेज डेवलप योर पर्सनैलिटी इन अ वे डेट इट इज इट योर सक्सेस इज नॉट डिपेंडेंट अपॉन योर क्वालिफाइंग दिस एग्जामिनेशन that is something uh, which i believe is very important uh, uh, you can you should definitely know about your country you should know about all the systems uh, the efficiencies and everything but uh, uh, you should have a personality where you should be confident enough that uh, when i come into the service i will be adding value to the service uh, i mean uh, my personality is not you know uh, it's not subject to my qualification thank you sir abhijit uh, anything to add in on it no i i agree to all the points abhishek sir has said and also i would like to add another thing while uh, ensuring academic expertise uh, aspirants should also be careful about their mental health because uh, most of them have uh, their uh, preparation secluded to their uh, computer or laptops in their room so they should uh, try to uh, socialize more and have uh, try to have a peer group so that uh, they can share their aspirations and frustrations thank you sir i would like to add one more thing actually i i i forgot i just i just remembered i had kept it in mind um look uh, as a civil servant you have to go through annual health checkup that is not something which you necessarily have to do after your selection uh, i'll i'll share my personal experience because uh, police service is you know physically hectic it's physically straining so uh, जब हम इंडोर्स बैठ के पढ़ाई करते हैं फॉर से वन ईयर टू ईयर ऑलमोस्ट एवरीबडी वुड हैव लो लेवल्स ऑफ वाइटामिन डी वाइटामिन बी ट्वेल्व एंड कैल्शियम दैट इज समथिंग व्हिच यू शुड मेंटेन अगर आपको अच्छा हेल्थ मेंटेन करना है दिस इज समथिंग आई लर्न द हार्ड वे यू डू नॉट हैव टू लर्न इट द हार्ड वे प्लीज इंश्योर डैट यू केयर अबाउट योर हेल्थ ये जरूरी नहीं है कि आप सिलेक्शन में आके उसके बाद प्रेशर में बीमार पड़ जाओ it's it's good if you have an, a regular health checkup you focus on these things this will help you maintain a better balance between your preparations and your personal life when you are an aspirant and between your personal and professional life when you are a civil servant definitely sir i think this is not only for civil services but yes uh this is the most important thing for in our lives uh since we are uh, we've gone above time and uh, you guys uh, must have other commitments as well so the last question is uh, during another job how to make consistency in daily life regarding preparation uh it's a difficult task i mean it's not easy i uh, but yes i have batchmates who have qualified you know uh, in first attempt in in a small period of time uh, but Uh, you will have to find a way i mean uh, i find it difficult to say you know that there is a substitute to study so uh, you will have to find materials which are i mean good foundations again i i i mean not to boast of it but i believe lux is a good foundation aap use use kar sakte hain but uh, you will have to build upon your analytical skills um, you still in any case i don't see uh, it cannot be less than uh, you know 5 hours and during mains it has to be exclusive i mean you have to devote it to your studies aapko uh, maybe leaves leni padengi ya you know there are there are options where you can have extended leaves uh, because you know uh, it's difficult to travel in two boats 
जब आप प्रिपेयर कर रहे हैं डिवोट योर टाइम आफ्टर ऑल्स यू कैन गो बैक टू योर जॉब आफ्टर द एग्जाम्स थैंक यू सो अभिजीत एनीथिंग टू ऐड ऑन ऐड ऑन इट एज नो नथिंग थैंक यू थैंक यू बोथ ऑफ यू सो मच uh thank you bishik sir and abhijit for generously sharing your knowledge and dedicating your valuable time with us uh before complete uh, concluding i want to express my gratitude to each one of you uh for your attentive uh, participation uh your engagement and uh, enthusiasm have truly made this session exceptional thank you everyone thank you sir thank you